Severe weather has been the top story tonight, but that's no surprise for this time of year. 3 News Now's Joseph Meyer brings us the story of another storm that hit the state hard more than 50 years ago in this week in weather history. On May the 6th, 1965, a rash of violent tornadoes tore through the Minneapolis metropolitan area, putting the nation on edge when two days later, Nebraska saw one of its largest tornado outbreaks on record. The outbreak encompassed mainly portions of northern into central Nebraska with several long track tornadoes across the area. A rash of tornadoes north of Broken Bow on the north side of the state and then two areas of violent tornadoes, both north of Grand Island, following parallel tracks to each other as they moved over portions of central and northeast Nebraska. They likely were not on the ground the entire time, maybe touching and going, but as they pushed on through, they destroyed several homes in their path, including 90% of the town of Primrose in Boone County, which is just to the southwest of Norfolk. Four people were killed in that particular tornado. Three were killed in the one north of Grand Island. Another tornado touching down just barely near Columbus, heading to the north of Schuyler, and then another one south of York from Hebron, all the way up there to near Seward. But the worst tornado of the day happened just across the state line in Tripp County, South Dakota. An F5 tornado over a mile wide at times carved a path due north, South Dakota's strongest tornado on record and only F5 tornado on record up there. For more information on this outbreak, you can always head over to our website, go to weather, the weather history tab. You can find more details on the Nebraska side of this tornado outbreak all on the website.